India is facing climate change in diverse ways. Climatic change has become a global concern over the last few decades. Besides these climatic change affect life on the earth in various ways such as health impacts, resource unavailability and loss of biodiversity. Hello my name is Shruti Garg and welcome to our YouTube channel Cobbis. Today we will be learning about how to evaluate environmental impacts of a project. Environmental impacts like greenhouse gas emission which cause global warming which increase in temperature leading to a rise of sea level and ultimately leading to loss of biodiversity. So to evaluate the environmental impacts one should go through the environmental impact assessment process. But do you know what is an EIA? Let's know it for a better understanding. EIA is a tool to identify the environmental, social economical impacts of a project before decision making it aims to predict environmental impacts early on in planning and design to find ways to reduce the harmful impact shape the projects to suit the nearby environment and present option to decision makers assessment of environmental impacts of any project gives detailed knowledge about the impact at the initial between and final stages of the project a separate chapter or section is made as chapter 4 or chapter 7 in the generic structure of an EIA as per EIA notification 2006 the most common environmental impacts are as follows air pollution which sourced from the stack digisat mining activities vehicular emissions etc water pollution sourced from leachate runoff excessive use of pesticides wastewater discharge etc soil pollution sourced from excessive use of pesticide rural community waste wastewater for irrigation etc noise pollution sourced from air traffic or road traffic noise construction sites machinery etc loss of biodiversity socio economic and land environment so let's understand why it is necessary to do an assessment of environmental impact human well being depends directly on the biodiversity and the ecosystem so it's very important to measure plan and minimize the impact by assessment of any project on the environment towards sustainable development so what is the process for environmental impact assessment to assess the environmental impacts of any project or activity the following steps as per eia notification 2006 are under first step is screening second step is scoping and impact analysis third one review of the eia report and fourth is public consultation and final one decision making which means appraisal now we will understand the stages involved in the assessment of environmental impacts impacts can be classified as direct indirect and cumulative impacts the stages involved which are as follows first impact identification include checklist matrices baseline monitoring etc impact prediction includes impact duration extent of impact modeling etc third one is impact assessment and mitigation measures using environmental standards matrices management plans etc now the crucial question how we can measure the environmental impacts let's understand as per the recent report more than 100 countries have legislation that requires an environmental impact assessment that is an eia to be carried out for any project that may highly impact the ecosystem it was created and designed to evaluate such effects on the environment according to sustainable development indicators chapter 4 that is anticipated environmental impacts and management plan includes identification of environmental impacts with pollution control equipment such as air environment by air mode model water environment by gis noise environment by noise model soil environment by soil model also include mitigative measures in construction and operation phase now let's understand the chapter 7 that is additional studies risk assessment which includes major hazards such as natural disaster hazard pertaining to fires in building flooding from man made cause diesel or other storage areas electrical accidents submission of disaster management plan for minimize the effect on property and people evacuation effective rescue and medical treatment etc now let's understand what are the additional tools used for measuring environmental impacts first is carbon footprint calculator sustainable checklist checklist and matrices life cycle assessment environmental impact assessment 
Now let's know the difference between risk assessment and environmental impact assessment. Risk assessment is a process for estimating the likelihood or probability of an adverse outcome due to change in environmental condition caused by human activity. While environmental impact assessment is a process to identify and predict the environmental impact and human health of any project or activity. Risk assessment assesses the environmental risk directly associated with the project, while environmental impact assessment assesses the direct or indirect impact on the environment risk assessment will be done by impact matrices from low to high risk indicators or grading environmental impact assessment will be done by impact matrices based on the project's severity and probability from no impact to extensive and highly unlikely to very likely next let's know the take of indian government in united nation 2030th agenda as per united nation 2030th agenda in which india played a prominent role and environmental impact assessment must include the following reducing our environmental footprint integrating the climate change promotion of the circular economy and biodiversity preservation so as you have seen the assessment of environmental impact of the project is necessary to measure environmental consequences for the execution planning and start of the project activities for proposed action in a particular area so if you are looking for the assistance of certified consultant that can help you with this report you can connect with our expert at cobbis with the details below we help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their project please like and share if you found this information useful you can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website thank you for watching